Hi my beautiful Scorpios and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your August the 21st until the 28th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. So for those of you that are new, welcome and those of you that are returning, I'm glad to have you guys back. If you are new and you haven't yet subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. That is always greatly appreciated. And those of you interested in a personal reading, my website is in the description box below. You'll also see the link to my Instagram in the description box below as well for those of you interested in following me over there. All right, so I'm going to start off with your tarot and then I'm going to pull you guys some oracle cards. So let's see what can I get for my beautiful Scorpios. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Let's see. What messages does Scorpio need to see? What messages can we get for the beautiful Scorpios? In the pre-shuffle, we have the Ten of Cups. So long-term happiness, a wish fulfillment, emotional happiness, a long-term relationship, a long-term commitment, moving up in a relationship, finding true emotional happiness. I um, definitely feel good energies for you guys. I feel transformational energy. So good energies that are definitely due due to all that you've been dealing with and all that you've accomplished and all that you've grown into. The sun. Beautiful, you guys. Absolutely amazing. You know, Leo season. This is the time now where, you know, from the 15th on, I really feel like you're really going to see things start to pick up after all that heavy energy that you guys were feeling before. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo. Some of you, your relationship is going to start going a lot smoother with the Leo. I feel like you guys are in the spotlight as well. You guys are definitely in the spotlight. There's a lot of people that are noticing you. I feel like you guys know that you're in the spotlight or there's just this energy that has like overcome you where you just want to look your best. You want to feel your best. But then when you look your best, you know, you definitely are feeling your best because it's like you just have this, when a Scorpio knows that they're attractive, they just have this little like, I don't even know. It's, it's why they're so alluring. And it's just the way that you go about it, the way that you go about yourself, the way that you walk, the way that you talk, the way that you've been looking at people. This is a really, um, mis yeah, it's just that mysterious quality about you, but I feel like it's on an all time high and everybody's noticing it, you know, this um, week for you guys. We have the five of coins here. I feel like some of you guys are worried financially, worried um, about your finances. Two of cups, some of you, this is about a relationship. This is about somebody that you, you know, the two of you guys love each other. There's mutual love here, but at the same time, you guys aren't on the same page or there could be distance, lack of communication between the two of you, but there is love here. This is a mutual connection. The two of you guys have this soulmate connection that is, you know, unbelievable. This connection is, let me put it this way. You can trust this person. And that's everything to a Scorpio. That is, it doesn't matter how long you've known a Scorpio. The second you lose their trust, it doesn't matter how much they wish they could forgive you. They won't be able to. And this is somebody that you can trust. So this is somebody that is very special. And they're going to be, they're going to hold a place in your heart for a very long time, no matter what happens. But it, it seems like you guys, you could be definitely coming out of this time where there was no communication. For some of you, this is somebody new that you are just seeing and you may have gotten into an argument before discussing, you know, or an argument due to discussing where things are going to go next. Maybe you weren't on the same page. So, you know, things have been a little bit rocky, but I do see, you know, if there's somebody that was withholding their feelings, withholding, you know, talking about their emotions, this person's going to be coming towards you expressing how they feel. And if you don't know that this person feels a similar, um, the same way that you feel about them, about you, this is something you're going to be finding out this week. And a lot is going to make more sense. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. Beautiful energy for you guys. Feeling totally abundant here. You know, with her apps, like this is, like, look what she is wearing. She is just rich, just stunning. And this is you guys. This is you guys just feeling abundant. And I feel like for a lot of you, you don't even know why you feel like this. You just can feel the energy shifting. You can feel that there's something so, so big coming in for you and you just feel so freaking abundant and it doesn't even matter if things aren't, you know, going so well for you right now. It's just that this energy that you feel and you just know that you're powerful enough to change it. Whatever outcome, you're going to create the outcome. You're going to be stable. You're going to be happy and you're going to be, you know, financially secure and independent because you know that you're the one that you're relying on yourself and you're going to make this happen for yourself. You're going to create this for yourself. For some of you, this is very intimidating for the person that you're dealing with. 
Ace of Cups. The expression of love, the two of you guys falling in love. For some of you, this is a new a new message of love or a new love um, offer coming in. But for the majority of you, I feel like this is a person that you were, you know, on a break with or at a distance with or just the communication wasn't good. You weren't on the same page with. It's the two of you guys, you know, falling back in love and just expressing your love, expressing your feelings or whether this is if you're doing that for the first time or not. But it's like there's loving energies where the emotions are flowing and you're both, you know, getting on the same page. The devil. Some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn here. I feel like the passionate and intimacy between the two of you guys is on an all-time high. Somebody is more possessive than the other, though. There's a little bit of obsessive energy here that I'm getting. I feel like somebody is physically, like, physically addicted to you, Scorpio. It's almost like you... It's almost like I'm, I'm getting like, why did you put a spell on me? It's like, that's what they're saying. Why did you put a spell on me, Scorpio? Ace of Wands, a new opportunity. For some of you, this is a pregnancy. Be careful. The devil with the Ace of Wands. This could be, and the Ace of Cups. Whew. Be careful, you guys. This could be a pregnancy. Somebody may try to trap you into a pregnancy. If this was you that put them out in the cold, I would be careful as well. I just thought of my title. I just want to write it down quickly. Okay. The page of coins. There's a brand new opportunity. This could be a brand new job for some of you, a brand new job. For some of you, you've completed everything that you can possibly learn in the job that you currently have and you're having a new job. Um, but for others of you, this is the beginning of a relationship. And this could be that this person is coming back and when you guys express your feelings towards each other, you evolve into a relationship. Others of you, some of you, I am feeling like you're going to be pregnant. I'm getting a boy. I'm sensing a boy. Some of you have been wanting to get pregnant. Some of you, this could have been why there's been conflict. It's because it's been hard to have a child for some of you. There's a strong energy of children around here. The Six of Swords, moving out of a time of conflict towards a, um, a time that is more calm. Like I said, you guys are going to be in a place where you feel like you can express your emotions. And, you know, it's going to be a very emotional time for you guys. And I feel passionate as well. Lots of love making I'm sensing too. Um... For some of you, you may be traveling. There may be a new opportunity to travel or a new opportunity coming for you that involves traveling. Four of Swords. Eight of Swords. Some of you guys... You know, if you guys are pregnant right now, you know, it may be a lot more exhausting than you think. And because of that, you may, you know, have a lot of negative thoughts or just thoughts about, you know, how you're going to be able to get through this because it may just make you really exhausted and you may not have, you know, the greatest experience. So you may, you know, be a little bit scared or have a lot, you know, of fear. Or if, if you do find out you're pregnant, you are going to be scared because this is not something that was planned for some of you. Okay, so the high priestess here. There's some sort of secret. Some of you guys know that you're pregnant. Whatever, whatever you do, whatever happens this week, just trust your intuition. Know your intuition is really strong. Some of you guys are going to find out some information from a reading, from a psychic. Um, from a, it could be a personal reader. It could be a reader on YouTube. Um, some of you guys are psychics yourself. Some of you, the person that you deal with is really intu intuitive, the person that you're dealing with, and they're going to find out that you're pregnant before you're pregnant, if this is a pregnancy. But I mean, this could only, this reading may only be for a couple of you guys, but I'm getting pregnancy so strong here. And we have the three of coins investing into your future. For some of you, this is deciding to move in with the person that you're dealing with. This is also about travel. You could be traveling, you know, to live closer to this person or moving in with this person, purchasing your first home with this person, but things are moving towards a new direction. You know, whether you're single, you're going to be committed. If you're committed, you're going to move to the next level. And that could be 
getting a house together, having a child, you know, getting engaged. It could be taking your first vacation, but things are moving, you know, so that is the main energy here. The, everything that was stagnant for the past couple of weeks, couple of months is all going to be pushed forward. And you're now in the sense of finally, you know, it's like when the plane starts to finally, you know, the plane starts to go just really slowly. It's like you're getting there. Um, but yeah, so let me play you guys some Oracle cards. Whoa, that's so many. Oh. We have you're very close to achieving your goal. Absolutely. A personal issue reaches resolution. And what do you need to release? What do you need to release, Scorpio? Something that you know is good to think about, but you probably don't want to do it. What do you need to release? There's something that you know you need to release. Could it be that double energy? Is there something that you are currently addicted to? Something that is currently not serving you well or someone in your life that is currently not serving you well? We have growth. I want to expand my consciousness and awareness. And then we have success. I know that there is no greater goal than love. All right, you guys. So that is what I have for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did and you would like a personal reading, my website is listed in the description box below, as well as my Instagram. Feel free to subscribe, uh, like, and share. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next week.